curtain rod, most cases in the shop will fabricate uh, will prepared for especially for stick system. We prepare put uh, shear blocks and drill holes and get everything's ready to and then deliver to the site construction site. So normally like shear blocks should be ready and holes should be drilled. Then we send to site and uh, we should have anchors ready. So then this first one and then the second step. So what we prepared for the anchors. Talking about the anchors, they have so many different anchors. For example, uh, this custom made uh, steel anchors. Uh, and I also have some other types with top slip, slip anchors. And I also have many others. For the small jobs, normally we uh, if the, your curtain was windows, is if uh, the height is less than seven feet, we normally just use clip anchors, which is simply we use in the shop. We have some cutoffs of, of L shape uh, profile of aluminum or steel, so we just get a lid of normally about six inches long pieces of clip anchors to install the shoulder of curtain walls around the perimeter of the openings. Then um, the top one was slip anchors and the bottom one normally the, the anchors has to fix to, to screw into uh, the curtain was in screw into uh, Angles, but the top one I will leave it float because we need it flexible when the building movement or building deflection. So when we have a gap of, of the aluminum tube can move up and down, so you don't have to worry about your frames and the glass be damaged. So after your frames installed, we have to install the membrane or adhesive blue skin or peeling, uh, peeling stick of membranes around the perimeter. So this is how it looks like. We should follow the procedures, which is the lower portion always first for the membranes to install and the upper portion always the next step to cover the lower portion so then you don't have to worry about membranes where I have like pocket to hold the water this basic rule and also on that corner of the of that corner joints uh, we should have a joint plug, a corner plug, and uh, when when we have corner plug, we should have sealed or seal the corner plug to the to the positions. I know uh, most of cases of I think it's probably ninety percent of our. Um, uh, glazing uh, contractors uh, in their shop, they're using silicones instead of butyl. That's traditional way with the butyl sealant. But right now, lots of guys using sealant that uh, use uh, silicones that is not proper because the design to use butyl sealant is to allow the gap of corner block to have weather changing temperature changing or movement. When you move silicone, so when you dry the silicone, uh, if not stabilized, they're going to have cause a leaking issue. But the build to sealant has not this kind of issue because the flexible is, is wet, it looks like wet, 
It's problems this the shop guys don't like that because they the sticky and uh, and always wet. Less membrane seconds like I I just talked about. So the lower portion of the cell always the first and then jam the jams is the second and the top is the last. Like I just talked about that corner plugs uh, uh, need to to sell and use build to build sealant and typically a, a, a traditional way. And if you don't sell or uh, use build or uh, use sealant to seal the corner plug, then you might have issues of leaking or air leaking or water leaking. So you you want pass the test of the, the pressure test for air leaking that you may cause in you know, the winter time cause frost inside for the extreme cold weather so when you install glass the glass uh, the setting blocks normally set at quarter of the width of the glass or less than the, normally less than uh, a, a feet so uh, about four inches to six inches depends on how wide of your glass for the pressure plate, plate when you install pressure plate you'll find out You have, you have found out how typical uh, press plate, uh, this typical press plate uh, preps, they have slot holes at each end uh, about two inches away from the end. The slot uh, normally around um, 9 sixteenths by two inches long of slot. If you horizontal press plate is less than 48 inches, if you're over 48 inches, you need add actual slot in the middle. At the same time, if your curtain walls has some locations uh, spandrel instead of seal units, then we better to have ventilation holes for the spandrel on top. For example, this is at the bottom is glass, this on top is glass in the middle, this is spandrel, then we need holes on the top of the spandrel, it uh, the pressure plate locations need to let in to have air ventilation to prevent how some moisture inside. So this for the spandrel, you need to cut holes for for the spandrel um, uh, ventilations. So you can you can see this one. This is glass uh, above the sealed units. This is spandrel with back pan insulations here. So we need to have whip holes or, or ventilation holes here. Is not only above the slot for the drain drainages, but also need ventilation above the spandrel glass. Please, please remember, fresh plate joints need to be sealed. You need the sealant to to seal this one but I found lots of our side guys they forgot or, or even don't do that. That's not proper because that will cause some issues especially in the winter time or, or, or the early spring time when you have snow melting at the day warming or uh, warm and then and at, at night they can freeze and and ex expand the water keep in keep in that corner though they will expand and cause the pressure plate uh, uh, deflection so when you install glass also you need to remember it, uh, to check the shop drawings Zoe surface uh, 
Sometimes low is on second surface, or sometimes low is on third surface. Depends on the specs in the sharp joints. For example, this uh, um, sharp joint indicated six mil glass, ten mil glass when a solar band sixty on on the second, on the third face, not second on the third face. So we need to make sure that this is on third face. This exterior, this interior, this third face, this second face. So if you get it wrong, you probably you're gonna have troubles when uh, architects or, or, or owners find out that kind of thing. You installed on one side of the low E, you have to redo all the glass, remove the glass, and redo the cost loss of labels to do that, to correct. So just keep in mind that you get the right size because low E on the surface, different surfaces, the, the, the functions is different. For example, if your low is on the second place, normally you don't want the heat gets into this building. Um, if your low is on, on, on the third place, that means you prevent heat loss in the inside. So the functions designed by architects is different. So for um, for the flashing, sometimes uh, if you, if if the project is for the infrastructure of the government jobs, then some jobs are very strict, critical. They want you to build and dam for your flashings. So this and that to flashing to, to, to prevent water gets into uh, the jam when. They have water with her rain. Also remember when you um, have flashings, make sure your flashing joins on the right spot, which is which is you uh, flashings. If you don't do, do that, it may be a, a, a it's for the beauty of the design concern that architects will not accept. So for example, this, this joints of flashes normally should be joined at the vertical center of the vertical somewhere. So you don't want to join this windload when the anchors uh, if you vertical high is 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 very tall so you need to consider when the basic when load chart of of design so when you have when load uh, when load anchors you need to to know that the how to pro, pro, uh, prep of the holes in the in the anchors that you need to, you need a slot on the vertical side is to allow a lot more to to move on verticals but not not horizontal so and you also when you install the the load anchors you need a, Nylon slip, slippery pad, which is allowed the moldings uh, move moving. Do you finished everything? You make sure your caps. If you cannot snap in, when you beat in, use a mallet. Make sure you need have a wood block to uh, in in on, uh, above the surface to prevent beat dent of the cap. For example, this this good this this one of the job our guys uh, sites they they didn't properly install the caps. They, they didn't use the wood block or mallet. Then you get dent. Also, you make sure you flush install the frames or the the caps after you finished everything. You make sure your caps. If you cannot snap in, when you beat in, use a mallet. Make sure you need have a wood block to in, in on, uh, above the surface to prevent beat dent of the cap. For example, this this good this this one of the job our guys uh, on site they they didn't 
proper install the caps. If they didn't use the wood block or mallet, then you get dent. Also, you make sure your flashing is pretty good, uh, fit aligned to, to the gen, to, to the seal. Also, you don't want the joints, like I mentioned, the joints of the flashings. You don't want it at the end, it's only a couple of inches to the end, and you, you join together. That's ugly looking, and uh, the architects were not like it, and the owners does not like it too. So, when you drill holes and fabricate doors, especially, you make sure everything's perfect on the right spot. If you drill holes that you're not fit in, and uh, your architects or quality control guys find out that you have to replace your door, that because you, they don't want to accept uh, or the conditions you have, because they spend lots of money and get new products, and you get defect. And this this is the example is that the guys joins only five inches away to the end. That's not acceptable. Also, make sure your flashings are uh, you know, installed. You don't want to have sail flashings have negative slope. So, this could be practice to know when you install your frames, your frame has to be shim high as much as you can. So, then you have enough load to. For the for the for the flushing to have positive slope instead of negative slope. So if we have a negative slope and the rain or water will get into the building. So and also when you put flushings, put a, put a, put a caps, you need to make sure the caps all aligned without any offset. 